Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to our next tidbits on Angular Automation with Protractor plus TypeScript Cucumber video series where we can talk about taking screenshots when test fails and attach the failed test screenshot in the Cucumber report that we already discussed in our course. All right, so let's get started. Taking screenshot while test fails. So this is a most common thing that we do mostly where if any test fails, we need to take a screenshot and then we need to attach the screenshot somewhere or store the screenshot somewhere within our directory so that we can see what happens while the test executed. But it would be very nice if we also attach the screenshot within our test report, which is nothing but our Cucumber test report. So we can verify if the test fails using a is failed method of a step result in the Cucumber, which is a good news so that we can get what's really happening. But using that in our existing register handler is important to attach those taken screenshot in our existing Cucumber test report. So that we can do using a very, very simple code as shown below. As you can see here, we have a code which has the step result dot is failed method. So if there is a is failed method being called, which is passing as true, then you can return the browser dot take screenshot and then you can take a screenshot as mentioned below and then you can push the attachment to a specific type that you can specify like image or PNG to base 64 decoding format and then you can attach that within your Cucumber report that we discussed in our course already. It is going to look something like this. As you can see within a failed step definitions of the Cucumber report, you can also see that there is a stack trace of what has really happened behind the scene, the failure. And also it is going to show a screenshot for you that it has failed because of this particular reason. As you can see, our EA course app screenshot is available below within the screenshot of the particular screenshot that you are seeing here. All right, let's quickly see this in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio Code. All right, so this is the same project which we have been working so far in our course. And we also know that we have written a kind of framework where it has all the important things which is required for a framework to execute. So we are trying to add as much as possible in our tidbits which are not covered earlier in the framework development. So this course is going to be keep on growing as if as in there is going to be a new feature request or if some of the students like you who try to add some code and this particular piece of code that I'm going to show you today is already added by one of the student. He himself wrote the particular piece of code and added that. So we are going to kind of demonstrate the same thing for you within our uh, course video this time. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to the hooks and there is something called a scenario hook.ts file. So this is where all the register handler things going to happen. So basically what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to write one more register handler and within this particular register handler I'm going to write a handler which is going to uh, do this. We're just going to write a step result. So this step result is basically going to return as true or false, uh, which is going to be specified within particular code. And if the step result has the method, uh, which is going to be is failed result method being spawned as true, then it's going to take a screenshot for you. So this register handler within this hooks is kind of very, very important. As you know, in our previous code, even if we execute this particular piece of code, it is not going to take a screenshot. So maybe I can demonstrate that app first and I'll show you how things work. As you can see that currently the TS is running, uh, the TS watch is running. So if I try to run the protractor of, uh, oops, protractor of config.js. So I guess I need to navigate to the uh, tests and steps. And then I got to do the protractor of the config.js. But before that, I also need to uh, run the uh, Selenium web driver. So uh, web driver hyphen manager start. So that's going to spawn my Selenium web driver. In the meantime, I'm going to execute this particular piece of code once it is executed. All right. So now I'm going to execute this. As you can see, that it is going to run our test pretty much like what we did in our previous videos as well. So it should run the application. Oops, I guess I have also not started the application. So let me do that as well. So it's going to be npm start. All right, the application is now running. 
So if I switch back to my protractor config.js file. So these things we have already discussed in our previous videos of this course. So please go back and watch what we have discussed to run the Angular application using TypeScript. All right. So it seems like the application has opened, but there is some kind of errors here. That is so weird. It seems like it has uh, failed because of the timeout. Hmm. Let me run again. Okay, now it's executing, which is kind of weird. All right, the test got executed and the report has been generated in this particular path. So if I just copy this path and if I paste this guy here, you can see that we have uh, a very, very simple scenarios and features and things of that nature. But we don't really have a screenshot for uh, the passing things, but we can still make the test to fail. What you can do is this. I can just go back here. I can uncomment this particular piece of code. And then if I try to execute this once again, probably I know that this particular scenario will fail. All right, it seems like uh, one of the scenario got failed. And uh, let's quickly try to uh, refresh this page and see what's really happening. So this time we have a failed result. And now if I see the failure scenario, you can see there is only the stack trace, but no screenshot here. The reason is because the screenshot will be available only if we write the code, just nothing but the registry handler of the hooks. That's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to close these guys very quickly. And then I'm going to go all the way to the scenario hook.ts file. And then here, I'm going to write a register handler, which is going to be something uh, sitting on the top of the register listener. So register handler. Uh, and then I'm going to write this step result. And from the step result, I'm going to have this uh, sync. And then I'm going to call step result, which is a good name as a parameter for now. And then here, I'm going to write this. If the step result of is failed so you can see that there is no intelligence being coming in which is okay uh, but still this is valid and then you just take a uh, screenshot of the browser uh, screenshot so you can see there is something called as take screenshot so i'm gonna call this method and there is a uh, then promise where you can uh, write in here something like this function of screenshot and then you can keep on adding the code here so for the sake of time what i'm going to do is, is i'm just going to paste this particular piece of code uh, instead of kind of writing the same thing again and again so uh, let me copy this guy here over here all right so this is the code basically it is going to take a screenshot for you decode it and then it's going to attach the particular result uh, into this failures result that we saw in our test report so I'm just going to save it all together and you can see once I save it over here, uh, the transpiler of the TypeScript is going to transpire and it's going to compile that to the uh, equivalent JavaScript for us, right? So now let me go back to my uh, console here and then let me clear this a little bit. And then if I try to run this particular piece of test, again, it's going to run the same test, but this time it is going to attach the failure screenshot for us, hopefully if everything is fine. So because we have this guy, the register listener, so hopefully we will have the uh, register handler to be synced with that. All right, so now I'm going to go all the way to my report, which is over here. So I'm just going to copy this and uh, I'm going to open maybe the Edge browser. Why not? We have a failure. I'm going to go to the features, scenarios, and you can see that we have failure. If I see this because show error, this is pretty much the same thing, but now we have a screenshot as well. So if I select this, you can see there is a failure which is happening because of this particular screen, as you can see here. So this is pretty much exactly what we're looking for, right? So now we have a failure for this particular scenario and we have the stack list error information as well as the screenshot over here. So this is happening only because of this particular piece of code that we have within our scenario hook.ts file. So this code is once again contributed by one of uh, our student within our Udemy course and he did a really great job in adding this particular piece of code and this is really helpful for the community. So I thought let's make this video available for everyone. And once again, thank you very much for watching this video. 
and hats off to the guy who made this code for us. Thank you.